Okay, it's halfway through June and I thought I'd do a bit of an update from moving to Spain. Um, purely because I've been stuck at home. Um, when I say home, I've been stuck in my parents now for about three weeks because work's a bit quiet. I've been hopping in and out of London and a few other locations, but I haven't had the vision ahead with work, which means I can't book flights. Um, basically, for me to go to Spain, I need to know where I'm going to be on a Friday to get on that flight. Coming back isn't a problem because I uh, can get a, fr a flight for 11 p.m. on a Friday, uh, on a Sunday. But going to Spain, I need to be heading out on a Friday. Um, and I just haven't been able to do it because last week, for example, I had to go into uh, central L London to um, go and review the British Museum. Um, on a Tuesday, I was at Lewisham. And it's been, a bit, been like that for a few weeks. The problem is, I have to admit, he's, when he's doing it, you start to realise why you don't like being in the UK. Um, well, sorry, I said I don't like being in the UK. Because, first thing is, the way the work's structured, they know um, I need a bit more flexibility, but don't really care. You know, and it's, and it's not just me. I've spoken to a few other people that, I mean, between me, you and the gate post, um, I'm expecting several people to leave the business in the near future. And it's purely because of the way they're treated. The way I deal with things most of the time is I switch off to it because I focus on family life. Uh, but like I said, because I can't get that structure, it's made it very difficult. Um, so you start questioning why you're here and do you really need to be here? Um, and currently, I am got to the point where I was getting close to thinking, you know what, maybe I should just skip getting a house in Spain and just, say, just take our savings and go out of Spain and spend a year just sorting out what, what I can be doing there, um, generating a business, creating a business from scratch, because I've got enough money in the bank to basically sit in Spain for um, 15 months at the moment. So, you know, I don't need to be in the UK as such, it's just that I want to get this place in Spain because once we've got it, we've got it. Uh, so what else can I say? Yeah, it's it's frustrating, you know, because at the end of the day, I put a lot of effort in the work, and it doesn't come back, <laughs> you know, a lot of it doesn't get seen. It gets appreciated for problems being fixed, but that's pretty much it. Um, you're just seen as a number. Uh, which I don't mind. I, I'll be honest with you, I don't mind because I don't see it as a long-term career. Um, reality is, I normally contract, and as a contractor, you just take the money, and it's not an issue. But within a business, I'm taking a lot less money than I normally do. Um, at the same time, I'm stuck here. So yeah, we'll wait and see. But. I've only got to get till Friday, Saturday morning I'm off to Spain again, which I'm really looking forward to. Got to sort this stuff out for the kids getting into school this um, next week, next Monday I've got an appointment with the school, because uh, once the kids are in school, um, life gets easier for April, but also the kids' Spanish will improve significantly. Um, they're already get in there with the Spanish TV etc but it's a lot lot easier once you're um, immersed in it with Spanish speaking uh, people but also expanding our friend network also works quite well with having so many kids in the area you know because once once the kids know the kids we then know the parents and then as such you, you exp your network expands uh, which is important in a new town or new country, whatever, um, purely because 
you never know where a network overlaps or where you can actually help each other. And that's that's why I like doing it. That's why you know I talk about networking. That's what, it's important. You know, you can um, do quite well off a good network. And a lot of people don't uh, invest enough time in their networks. But it was only in the last probably ten years I started to network in the way I do. But it's been very very useful. Um, I've got friends from all, all around the world, I've sorted problems out for people, people have sorted problems out for me, um, made some lifelong friends over the time. But there isn't a lot really going on at the moment, I'm hoping though that this trip out to Spain may actually see the mortgage and that sorted. Um, because once that's set in stone, um, I can start paying it off. Uh, like I was saying, I've been tempted to just call it a day and just head to Spain, but I think once we've got the house done and dusted, it'll give me focus on that to get rid of the debt. On top of that, I've just had confirmed today a project that's going to last me at least two months, um, which means that once I get over this one I'm doing this week, I've got another meetup when I get back off holiday but then I should be into that for two months which means I can then organize my flights back to Spain which is what I want you know if I can get that I'm quite happy because I can earn a lot more money in the UK than I can in Spain at the minute um, but also if I've got that house there well I say house it's a three-bedroom flat if I've got the three-bedroom flat this we own it's all good news um, because it's not costing us a fortune I could pay it off within 16, 18 months if they'll let me do it because uh, I may end up with penalty charges if I pay it off too quick but I think if I get it it's just at the right time because the housing market in Spain is starting to move um, the number of sales are shooting up at the minute but prices are coming down now I want to tell some tell you something right about Spanish pricing because people are asking why the prices have gone down but the sales are up because the prices were wrong to start with um, there was a property I was looking at was priced at between three different websites I've got it at 90,000 uh, I think it was 90 66 and 45 well the house was never 90,000 but the bank might have valued it at 90,000, but the real price is actually 45. 45 is what the set, the person who owns it wants. The other two figures have come from the estate agent. Um, so be aware that when the people say, oh, the price have gone down, they haven't. That was never the real price anyway. It's where you, um, as a buyer, have overpaid by giving a real estate agent 20, 30, 40,000 euros for their back pocket for doing absolutely nothing. Um, that's what they'd be aware of in Spain. The The fact is the housing market is riddled with crooks. Anyway, thanks for watching.